Hello, and welcome to Happy Chthonian. I'm Christoph. Um, this is part two of my UVG Session Zero actual play, which happened right here at this table. Uh, we did a Session Zero for Ultraviolet Grasslands, and this is the footage of it. If you haven't seen part one, uh, maybe go do that, because this is part two. The beginning of part one, I said there was going to be three videos, but there's just two, just two. This is the last, this is the end. Uh, it's mostly caravan creation and buying gear. There's a little snippet in there where we talk about our lines and veils, what we don't want to see at all in the game when, during this campaign, what we're okay with seeing, but it's off screen. Um, interesting talk about kind of ethics there. Uh, yeah, in the last 40 minutes of the game, our actual gameplay. So if you want to see a, a week of travel in the caravan where we've already made the characters, you can zip ahead to the last 40 minutes. Otherwise, enjoy us talking about how to, you know, math out how many sacks worth of caravan carrying capacity we need, and me <laughs> starting to get loopy because it was a five-hour long session. All right. Transition time. Here it comes. Ugh. It was only once you talked about the goods that had something to do with gates, I was like, oh, that's what that is. Okay. The fateful disaster of spatial distortion horizon caused by gate eruption. Yes. So we're going to find a gate. That happened to you? Yeah, that was my fateful disaster. <laughs> it wasn't, I was having a hard time figuring out. It's a spatial distortion horizon. That's the... That's what I suffer from. <laughs> that <laughs> Sometimes your body just is non-Euclidean. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot. He also... That's what it was... Just, you know, from time to time, I'll talk about things as if I'm, like, noticeably older than I look, despite my hideous appearance. Are you? I'm, I'm exceptionally youthful. I age unusually slowly. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a creature. It's just such... <laughs> so they've been waiting to sacrifice you for a while. I just gotta wait until he's old and feeble. <laughs> Jokes on you, more fingers. <laughs> I'm only getting stronger as the animal kills crawl up the side of your face. Are we, are we uh, evil professional or evil caravan? Oh, well, I mean, that for you I don't inside. think I knowingly. I think, I think my character's his intentions are good. Again, I think Mercury sounds evil. <laughs> I feel like we're kind of in the grays. <laughs> Loyalty comes from a long time of fishing and evil. <laughs> Straight up. With the name Loyalty? That's <laughs> important in yeah. when you're doing evil shit. Yeah. You don't you sell, gotta, uh, gotta like sell people down the river. Yeah. yeah. You gotta make the numbers work out. Do or else it wasn't sustainable. <laughs> I think I could easily be convinced to do evil. Or good, honestly. I think I could be easily convinced as. <laughs> I think I could be easily convinced, period. Period. <laughs> To what end? <laughs> <laughs> the means justify the means. I don't. I see this guy as some sort of weird mutant survivor. All right. Um, um, are we going evil then? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm wondering. Well, because then we can get disposable slaves. Oh. Ah, so the question Are we is, committing I mean, to evil right now? Yeah. Me, uh, Loyalty is definitely bringing along disposable slaves. Yeah. You know, because of the. Character. Already, yeah. It says perfect for evil caravans. I may, yeah. if we're not evil, I would. I might. Amazing. Feel like I should raise an ethical. Uh, right, yeah. No, if you're, if you're feeling bloody evil, by all means. That comes with the territory of being a neighborhood watch. Um, like, you need oh. some disposable life force to, <laughs> to, to cast the, the yeah. blue gods. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, life. you were about to say something. Oh, I was just I was thinking, like, the one thing that I think we could do is, like, our big cash crop, come, if we're going from Violet City out to the west, is that thousand dollar sand from Saffron, the Saffron yeah. stuff, because it's yeah. something we could each put in 254, and that would be our cash, because if it's worth... Wait, we have to buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But it's worth more going right. further out west, so... That's yeah. smart. I was like... Note, coming from Violet City, 
If we're leaving out of if here, we still don't know. City, yeah, yeah, like loads of coffee are cheap, and everyone loves coffee. Yeah, coffee, yeah. the wine, that stuff. Cat coffee, which is uh, narcotic, actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, if of we course we're doing narcotics. Uh, we're doing narcotic <laughs> slaves, obviously. You could buy a big herd of mounts, <laughs> and then other things on the way to load up all the mounts with, and do big runs. Of I was wondering what our theme was going to be. That's smart. I think it was Wait, narcotic please. and slaves. That's our character. As as we're talking about narcotics and slaves, uh, apropos time to mention lines and veils. So there are line as players, like this is a line I don't want this game to cross. For me, <laughs> my line would be I'm not gonna like depict a sex scene. <laughs> That's <laughs> not why I'm here. Um, and sexual violence like occurring in the game. Nope. Uh, that's a hard line. I I'm playing a computer role-playing game now where there's like there's a dead body and like oh no it's like and these people like yeah we killed him I'm like what you can't just murder people and like he sexually assaulted somebody I'm like oh okay. <laughs> so if and that so i guess that's a veil for me like if sexual assault happened off screen mm. i'd be okay with that but i'm not gonna but depict it yeah, yeah. I, i'm also okay with that and would not want it to be a feature of a scene <laughs> yeah yeah it's fine by me i mean but, it would be fine with like Sex happening off screen mm. or discussed, yeah, or like off screen. We just don't need. Part of we don't need detail yeah. breakdowns, <laughs> right? But you know, if, if one of our characters meets a very cute three limbed freak and <laughs> they go off behind the bushes, and someone describes the noises coming from behind the bushes, yeah. like I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Are there any other just things that come to mind as? Sounds like slavery has been put on the table. Is everybody okay with that? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't either. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not into. I'm not into the slaves. Okay, so you're not going to go out and buy and sell people. Well, that's so. That's number two on this list. That's kind of, right. You know, the reason we're bringing it up. Uh, um, I'd rather not. Yep. Sounds good to me. I think we're better than that. Maybe not. <laughs> or swamp guy. I mean, if but there is end of the table. swamp guy is easily going to be hanging out with them as if they're yeah. like in any other position of the caravan. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's the same conversation. The <laughs> question about so the uh, bugs. Um, Want to help us pull this? How about how about uh, Mercury's uh, insurance uh, extras? I was gonna say, like, if this is a world where there there's capitalism, yeah. are the enslaved people they just like get paid really terribly? Like, is there a middle ground or something? What debt? Uh, to do? It's always a chunks, thralls, um, some way that we are playing into the setting. The, the setting seems to have a fair amount of like cheapness of human life yeah. baked into it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like completely excluding that. Could undercut the setting. Mm -hmm. um, I also feel your hesitance about like playing a slave trading storyline. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know if I want to play a caravan of slave traders <laughs> storyline. Um, I would be down for like um, hangers on who are disposable. Mm -hmm. um, so that's well. Okay, so we do have a workaround here. We can go with the skeleton. Because I'm an answer. So um, they're yes, cheap. They're not alive, so they're not. The dead guys. They're way cheaper than uh, slave porters. A question regarding slavery as we move westward what if you should encounter, not this party dealing in slavery, but you should encounter others? Would that be on the table? Or would you rather not have to confront that? There's a question for y'all to consider. As long as we're, I'm fine with that showing up in the story. Yeah, we can we can confront it. Just like as long as we're not slave traders. Mm. Yep. I'd like to hear from you. I know Caspian, you're the one who had a problem with it. It's. But I'm also again, we could have them not be. Uh, like maybe if they were yeah dead. Yeah. Or something <laughs> like I don't know. As long as it isn't, they're not they're not good people. <laughs> I, I mean, in some that. ways, like, that we vibe animals, that's where I'm explaining <laughs> some creature, like, I don't know, you know, because I was going to say, like, oh, what if they want human-esque, and that's like, yeah, you know, I don't know, this world's doing that already with animals in a way. Can we just, like, 
raise the flag if it comes out. Absolutely. Right, that's so we, don't need that. we don't need that. We don't need to hash everything out. Yeah, that's exactly. But I definitely feel that's an open invitation. I'm, I'm a fan of like um, what you... interpersonal mechanic of like pause, rewind, mm. slow down. Mm -hmm. um, that all of us should have the ability to say, this scene, rewind button. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with, this, with, this, with this, where this is going, and I would like to. Um, Steer it somewhere else. Well, I would like to reset the beginning and play it differently. Nice. Okay, um, cool. Pause. I would like to stop and talk about this mm -hmm. as players before we continue role playing it. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of like the VHS controls of <laughs> content. Gotcha. I appreciate um, that. Yeah. And, and I'd like to propose that all of us be granted those VHS powers <laughs> yes. um, to be exercised without prejudice. Mm -hmm. that, like if I say, I'd like to pause this scene and talk about it. Mm -hmm. No one's going to question that, and we will pause and talk about it. If I say I'm, I'd like to rewind and have this happen differently, because I'm really not digging where this is going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no question of that of like, what you know, what's that all about? Right. Just, just we do it. You yeah. say okay, yep. Let's rewind and try something else. Yeah. What would work better? If I ever say rewind, I, it's kind of like, did you all have the little red convertible? You put a tape in and you press down yeah. and it rewound <laughs> your VHS. Yes. Oh. That's what my rewind will look like. <laughs> well, I like that. Thank you. I've never played that. That sounds good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'd like to do that. Sorry for giving so much during that. I play very dark themed games but it's always this yeah it's basically that where it's like that conversation is like okay it's like i'm running it so like any at any point in time i'm just gonna keep running the thing let me know and we'll, we'll, we'll pull it back just, just like, at any point in time let me know what the barrier is so yeah I feel like so much content really is contextual mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, i hear that and i imagine encountering a big jerk with leather armor and a bunch and a bunch of enslaved people in front of him and it's like oh well he's obviously a bad guy can we just shoot him it's like yeah um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whereas it's like oh the person you've been friends with for a long time you find out has been like secretly doing xyz with, right, right. Uh, human beings it's like well that's a lot more uncomfortable <laughs> um i don't mind when i hear that context I, I played a slave trader character once, like a decade ago, a lawful good merchant from a slave trading family in the Dark Sun setting, uh, where slave trading is everywhere, uh, who was like your favorite uncle who is like too deep in questionable business and is actually a decent character trying to do things better. Um, awful character. <laughs> it sounds like... Fun character to play. Yeah. As, as an example of a place where context made something interesting oh, that could okay. have otherwise been like just as tasteful. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm uh but this being my first long game, <laughs> I just skip all the uh the ethical dilemmas. <laughs> oh well <laughs> that's <laughs> or keep them maybe keep them fantastical. Yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah I am more interested in the fantastical yeah. um right. Same, same. Yeah. Uh, maybe the question of do we sacrifice these ultraviolet crabs to bring yeah. back our fallen comrade rather than do we sacrifice this child yeah exactly yes. yeah. yeah right unless it's a terrible kid <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be> a... <laughs> contextualized oh, yeah. mm. that anyway <laughs> that, that's a good point to call out that there are two kind of like strands in this world of um uh right you could play it really dark and dark sun like it's like, oh man people are doing this capitalism thing and people are suffering in this or it, the settings inspired by um psychedelic heavy metal and it's just like wow look at all the wild stuff we're at the edge of the world that's like, already good you know. in my feeling looking at the illustrations and everything else it's yeah. like uh this is way more acid than heroin yep mm -hmm. does that make any sense <laughs> yep yep okay good <laughs> all right <laughs> steering clear of definitely scenes of sexual violence and sex we'll put that behind a uh, bush uh and slavery to ratchet that down is what i'm hearing sweet any other things that people are like i don't want to see i and again pause rewind 
I I can get gory. I like gory movies, and I'll just like go in gore mode. So if you're like, okay, <laughs> that's enough. I'm okay. Right, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> going to core mode. All right. I, uh, it's just the way. I really enjoy like hilariously gratuitous. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't have a problem with the gore. Of like the, the lopping of heads with a fountain of blood. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kill Bill. Yeah. It kind of plays well with this sort of stuff. Again, fitting in the metal theme. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, one, one thing that's always made me queasy in traditional fantasy games is um, torturing captives for information, mm-hmm. especially when described. Yeah. I would rather like I never did take forward. them down by like insulting them, intimidating them. Don't pull out their fingernails. Ew. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't want to. It's because yeah. there's yeah. not a oh, skill much. check for that. So like when people are like, oh, we're intimidated. Oh, no, you're torturing them. There's a like I'm just character is not. I mean, <laughs> if we're playing an evil campaign, okay, this character's leaving. <laughs> was the that was one of the funnier moments of just like oh. You all are Vlad the Impaler is kind of evil. Okay, well, our guy's not evil. <laughs> it's not evil. I was like, well, it is. And he's like, I'll just make a new character. <laughs> it's like, it's just that, like, a always, guess. <laughs> like, when faced with I'll grab that pizza. an NPC who has something you want, there are always more creative yeah. solutions. Oh, yeah. Than torture. And it wasn't, yeah. Just, I didn't even, like, think of torturing somebody. Yeah, for, like, you don't. Information. You, but you generally run into that with like, people who it view it as like it video games. It comes up all the damn time. It does? That is role play games. Yeah, really? Huh. It's, it's something that I run into, like every new player group, there's somebody, there's somebody in any new player group who thinks that. Imagine. Like, there's something we want, we should torture someone to get it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I know, it's not really it's interesting. It's that, uh, that edgy middle schooler thing where it's like, wait, I can do anything I want. Well, yeah, but like we have to talk because we're, it's in our brains. We're doing it with our yeah. <laughs> This isn't the first ever fantasy role playing game published, but it is one What's of the first. One? And mm-hmm. this is the page on good versus evil. Uh-huh. So torture goes oh, away yeah. into the game. Oh, yeah. Wild. Yeah. Well, I. Yucky. I guess I got a lot of learning. <laughs> I just avoid Dungeons and Dragons, generally speaking. Mechanically speaking, it's it's the blandest one, anyways. Again, I, this is my. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning here. It's all good. I hear the illustrations are nice. Yeah. Okay, so what if we <laughs> get as much cat coffee as we can carry? Take it to the grass colossus and trade it for as many pack animals as we can get, and then load them up with whatever we can steal on the way back. Oh uh, yeah, sure, man. I I'm just gotta find something. Maximum capacity. I don't know. Worst case, we sell all the pack animals back at Let's get a break even. That's true. We gotta have, uh, but the only thing like oh, we're stealing. Oh, I need to stealing. Not really. <laughs> um, but I mean, we can learn. So the issue, though, finding, raiding, <laughs> hunting, whatever acquisition. I'm good at fishing. Fishing. And so I'm like, I can yeah. imagine rigging something. Yeah, we just trust. We trust in our ability to get stuff right. out there, and our trade goal is a massive caravan of camels to carry all the awesome stuff we're gonna find. Okay. We have mounts that are hundred. So I mean, we didn't talk about like. Uh, What's our rise in margin as we get away from? Because uh, the saffron's worth more as you go west, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and I imagine this can be true of most trade goods. The farther away you take them, the more valuable they become. Right. From their right. own mm-hmm. spot, and their little plates. You've got one. Oh, they're more over right on the corner there. Nice. Thank, thank you very much. You um, can you get a little plate? No. Thank you. You just gonna, you want to do it right off the dish? Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Thank okay. you so much. Whatever you want. I'm not judging. <laughs> like, if that's the way you want to roll, you go for it. It's your pizza. Joe's yeah. trying to justify his, oh, no, you have a Yeah. <laughs> um, so where were we in all this? Fifth pick? We were coming up with a plan and then buying appropriate equipment. To execute the plan. Correct. So we put, before we can even dump our cash into our tray good, we need a caravan, right? I mean, like this example caravan includes trade goods and mounts and some personal gear. It does. It does. Oh, and okay, so, gotcha. 
just this just this trade good we're starting with because some of that stuff was like twenty thousand right. dollars i imagine like no one could start selling that that's but right. they could maybe later that's right yeah building up money hopefully what are you eating about old boy that's his way uh, are we hungry is that what it's all about it's just funny standing in the middle of the room doing it <laughs> and staring at us why do you have food i don't i don't Um, one thing I wanted to do, yeah, is I'm gonna show two panels from the GM screen as we're thinking about buying things and how many is on Urban Airline. Every time there's a week, there's a flow chart. Week this week, the caravan is traveling. If you're traveling, step one, spend supplies, one sack per creature per week. Okay. Does that include pack animals? Is that... I have to stay in the grass. Now. Yep, they can okay. eat. Once we get to the desert, we have to stay in the Oh, gotcha. Okay. Exactly. And vehicles take a sack, I think, of fuel or gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, okay. Roll After you do the supplies, roll misfortune. It's the D20 that you can alter with um, uh, Ba. Or no, ha, ha, ba. Yeah, Ba. And a different PC rolls each week for the whole caravan. I'll use that little compass as like a tracker for whose turn it is. Oh. Um, and you can get a bonus if you have guides or maps, or a penalty if you're rushing or you have poor gear, et cetera. You can get bonuses, penalties of like plus two, plus four. Okay. So we'll spend supplies, roll for the misfortune. Every week there's going to be a misfortune. <laughs> uh, but if you roll, typically if you get uh, 14 or above, no problem. Encounters will roll. Every week there's an encounter. They're not always bad or violent. In fact, violence will be uh, relatively rare. And I'll randomize like their mood. So. But it will be gore. Oh, yes. <laughs> even if even if they're peaceful, <laughs> they approach just chucking boomerangs of gore. Um, so you do the supplies, roll for misfortune. There's an encounter, and then rest. Anyone who takes a week to not do anything can recover either their ha, all of it, or their ba, all of it, or their ka, all of it, or their life. So you got to pick one. Or their life. Life is hit points in this. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone has life too. You two. leave people behind in your caravan, so you have somebody out like on their own. Uh, can you leave someone behind? Oh, like split up? Well, yeah, because isn't that so? Like, if the caravan wants to take off, you need rest. Yeah, you could rest on the road. I, I, I would say, as long as you do nothing at all during the week. You just can't do. You let yeah. others deal with the encounters, and you're napping in the wagon. The yeah, exactly. And yeah. tell a big sheet of black. Then there's a step tally extra days each week. Uh, like if you're if you're slow or there's a certain misfortune happens, that tax an extra day on. Mm. But if you're fast or you have like you meet up with somebody who's helpful, that might like subtract a day. Uh, if you tally up to seven extra days, that means you go through the whole thing again. You have to eat more supplies. You have to get more without getting to your destination. So days can be tallied if things go wrong. So I just point this out so we know you got to have supplies for every week of travel. Mm -hmm. Travel for supplies, roll misfortune, you can just rest, tally extra days. And if you're staying somewhere, if you're sitting down in the wilds or sitting down at a destination, there are actions you can take. If you're camping, you can forage take care of somebody else so they can cure, heal more. They can heal two things instead of just one. You could study, so spend time to learn. You need to be with somebody you can learn from. Mm. But if you successfully study four times, you can add a new skill to your inventory yeah. from four different sensei's masters. You know? mm. So you can forge, care, study, hide, ambush, anything else you can imagine, but these are just examples. <laughs> Hiding would be, you know, you have a bonus that week to if you encounter something, hidden from it. Ambush, you have a bonus that week too. If you encounter something, you can ambush it. And if you're at one of the circular destinations, you can look for discoveries that are nearby. You can do market research. This is what made me think of it was um, if you're going out with something from here and it gets more expensive in the West, you got to roll for market research and the higher, the better. So I would say the further out you get, I might hack on a plus one, plus two, plus three for that roll. Mm, okay. Gotcha. And that would be like finding a buyer for the things you have. Yep. Or and knowing, understanding like this group really wants X and they're willing to pay 
Yep. And market research is the next town. You can pick a location that's a week away or like adjacent, or you could spend a whole a long time to do market research, like a whole week, and then you could get up to three destinations. That'd be a full cool insights quant. Sorry, I just incorporated. <laughs> full insights quant. Yeah. The quantity. Yeah, quantified, nice. quantifiable. Okay. So quant is uh, that's that's big. Cool. Yeah. That's where you bring in lots of subjects. <laughs> You get the big report at the end. It's not just like a quick, uh, like uh, what are they what are they up to in the next town over? No, good. So market research, and then you can buy and sell. You can always sell it for like the local price automatically, determined by market research, or you could haggle, which is a roll. Then you're risky. Like if you haggle, you might end up on the wrong side of things, and I. But typically, it'll be to your benefit to haggle. And then you can carouse, as I said, spend money. To get XP. Hmm. Uh, I just wanted to point that out as we're thinking about buying stuff. Mm -hmm. So we don't necessarily know what, do we know where we're leaving from yet? You can pick the Violet City or we can roll a random one. What do I, do? I like your plan. Mm -hmm. The plan of coffee from the Violet City, try to turn into a massive herd to carry whatever we find. Yeah. <laughs> Let's it's start. A great, great possibility. But you were thinking also saffron. Were you thinking? Oh yeah, I was just going straight logistical saffron as like an idea. But by all means, let's go. But we don't with it. Yeah. Um. So okay, but we need to first buy a caravan, right? Yeah. So I didn't see the uh, bone cart. So if we're gonna bring cat coffee. What if we start with everyone contributes a certain amount to buying our initial stash of cat coffee? How are we going to carry it? And then everyone has a, everyone contributes a cart or a mule or something to help carry it. Do we have to buy the sacks so, to like put it in? and yeah, That's included in the price. Okay. So yeah, if you're paying a hundred cash for cat coffee, that's the coffee and all the stuff you need to carry it. Okay. But well, that's the thing. So wagon, car, and coach, 200 bucks, six sacks, any an animal. Yeah. Um, can a camel carry a person and like two saddle bags or something? Or the person it... takes up one sack worth of carrying capacity. So, oh, okay. And a camel, car. two sacks. So I could have me and a yes. sack of cat coffee? Yes. Yep. Okay. And we can get cat coffee for 100 a sack in the Wild City. Mm -hmm. So if we each chip in, say, a quarter of our starting wealth, that right. gets us a cart of horse and seven sacks of. Cat coffee. Does it? Does, so wait a minute. So if we get a camel, uh, seventy. We really need a spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, uh, a camel, game of logistics. We've got costs on a camel at seventy. Oh, Pony, mule, or camel. Your classic solution: two sacks, normal speed, graze it, seventy bucks. All right, sure. Let's go with that one. Seventy bucks. We've got. Uh, back down here, wagon, coat, cart, slow and vulnerable, trivial to maintain, requires a draft animal. That's our pony mule, etc. Mm -hmm. Six so, sacks, slow, two hundred bucks. Do we need a wagon if we're having camels and then later getting a bunch of pack animals? Well, so we bring the coffee to trade for the hundred camels. Okay. And then we take the 100 camels back and load them up with everything. Not only are we going to get 100 camels out of it, but it looks like we're going one to one right now. <laughs> it's optimistic, but. We're all brothers in arms now, horse thief. I mean, let's start with like, all right, so. Camel thief. Yeah, a camel. What, what, if, what if we come up with an amount to like each put into the, into the That's pony? That's what you said. So like, and, what then some, and then somebody figures out the math of how many carts full of coffee that gets us. Mule, hang on. What, so I mule, can give you my laptop if you'd prefer a spreadsheet. Mule, uh, say I've got a coach for two hundred bucks. The metal nature of the thing in conjunction with this was like it's just put a sail yeah. on it. Yeah, put a sail on it. Six sacks, six sacks. Doesn't do anything mechanically. Sack, that's great way to sack. show the company logo. <laughs> it does a little bit of route. <laughs> I thought, I thought oh, you do need to come up with a company logo. So the visual mind among you, think of them. So if I'm doing this right, our carrying gets a character logo. 270. So can you split a sack? 
amongst yep. people? Yep. Uh, one stack is 10 stones. One stack is 10 stones. So if we each were to like go into a saffron and coffee, mm, gotcha. we each put up 250 a piece. That's yep. 2.5 stone of saffron per. Right. And then... Uh, we'll leave nice. 500 left over. Yep. Um, we're... Mm -hmm. What's, uh, so that's 520. That's 480 left. If we're all with a uh, pack animal one um, wagon, 2.5. So we could go five. We could go five and we'd still have left over. I, I propose we all throw a set amount of cash into a pile and have one player figure out what kind of carts full of what kind of goods that. Okay. Gets us. Okay. In determining the amount of cash you want to throw into the communal pile, you might also consider that there are individual things you might want to buy. There's yep. all kinds of gear in here that we can use to spend a few hundred a piece on helping ourselves to grow. Yeah. I kind of like the, uh, what was it? Okay. So 250 and then what if you did this? So 250 and then another, just say one sack of coffee. I'm just throwing this out of here. So that gives you. So we each throw in 350? No. So, because we each had a cart and. We're bringing four carts. We could get by without. We could get by I without. We could get by with like one or two carts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on the way out. And then a thousand camels on the way back. <laughs> that was a thousand. Where do you think camels are? I know the grass. Oh, grass All right. I don't know how you're getting a thousand of them. So that's 700 camels. <laughs> okay, so that's 70,000. Yeah, yeah, reasonable goals. <laughs> reasonable goals. Reasonable goals. Sounds so nice camels. round number. They're cheap at the grass colossus. <laughs> they're, they're, they're going, we, yeah. can, we can uh, just go camel wrestling and make all the camels. All right, so let's we'll say. We spend all of our communal cash <laughs> on fast steeds and guns. And we go camel just... wrestling on grass colossus. <laughs> Steal a herd of a thousand camels and then load them down with whatever we find on the way back. Okay, so if we together <laughs> all have four K, and we each need something to ride. Mm -hmm. One of these reminded me of right, so these two presets. Remind me of that kind of setup of we're just going to go out with horses and guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two. Wait. Okay. Come to horses and guns. Oh yeah, it's like the way I used to play Oregon Trail. I love it. Yes. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so we're wondering. Yep. Thirty-seven twenty. So if we all leave, that gives us one, and then the ability to carry some. So if we were to go to the Hemoth Shell um, for bone work. <laughs> But the protein. Um, <laughs> yeah, what else do you need? <laughs> As an in character thing, that's no that's a goal. <laughs> yeah, I don't have. I have so everybody has clams <laughs> or a mule or something. Look at go. Yeah. That's as far as we haven't got there yet because you get two per. So the one sack is you. Yeah. So you get one sack. Everybody has one sack right now. Oh. We added another oh, cart. Take that down. Now we're at 35, 20, and our total capacity is going to be 10. 10 extra. sacks? I guess it's 10 sacks extra. All right. This is what we can haul so far. Sweet. We're at 3,520 bucks. There's no way we can pool 3,520 bucks and still have gear for ourselves. I was thinking we pool like 1,000, maybe 2,000. Total, so 500 a piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think why? that's this, the the outside, and then we're keeping half of our starting ball. Yeah, I don't even know what the, up what is the, the. We're gonna the want the rations. Goal. Some of us might want components or armor weapons. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to ration start. All start. right, so if we went in with two K, then that drops us down our communal pot. Yeah, what if we go into two K and try to turn that into? Gets us to fifteen twenty. <laughs> some amount of wagons full of good stuff. Ten sacks. Into a thousand How about then a thousand? <laughs> then we buy one sack of saffron, mm -hmm. and then uh, five sacks of coffee. Dope. 
All right, so that gives us four sacks in the cart extra. Or the For cart now is full. And uh, one sack that you have on your... Um, no, then, then we've got one very valuable cart that we can't lose. Yeah. Um, and then we've all got our um, our steeds <laughs> and our personal gear. Right. That seems good. We just can't lose the cart. <laughs> well, somebody has yeah. to have their steed pulling it. Well, we can get one more steed for the cart, right? It, uh, your personal can pull it. Yeah. But I mean, like, but like another camel is yeah. what, 70? So, yeah. having a dedicated cart camel who's hitched up behind the caravan. Um, wouldn't, uh, that would cut into our final budget, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> what's, so, one sack saffron. That gets us down to. Uh, 20. Let's go four sacks of coffee. A creature pulling a load, a creature pulling one load can't also carry a second load. Okay. So, so the person? Have... Yep. You got to have one dedicated uh, beast of burden to pull the cart in addition to. And then you also are going to count and then against a the sack total of that cart. You could ride. Oh, you could ride in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So it would technically be five, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we got to restart. Or we could leave the cart animal and uh, and ride. Yep. And March. are you saying we also have to buy rations for ourselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Supplies. We only have a sack of supplies per week. No, wait, also wait. It's not that I'm not charmed at the idea of going and buying a camel herd. <laughs> Or wrestling one. Don't we uh, need a point, a goal, other than your? You have built in the goal of finding out about that mystery yeah, in the exactly. plains. You've got your letter to Imagine. deliver. Uh -huh. If you would like another like concrete quest, I could randomly roll one for you. Or Otherwise, you could... we're just trying to make money, right? Yep. Well, I mean, the goal is. Make some stories. Yeah, yeah. So you wait. We're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna take we're gonna track here. time over the year, <coughs> and uh, once the year is up, y'all need to pay right two, four, six, eight thousand back to your financier. So that's the goal. Or be very far away. Or be very far away. Here's a sheet for the caravan stuff to live on, just so you know. We still have to decide how we're going to spend it. Yeah. Um, where do you want to go? I have go? to go to the pot something crater. I feel like that was kind of close. That... It's close. It's right here. Oh, is it? Okay. So if we were to leave out of... Uh, there on the way to the Grass Colossus. Yeah. So we can complete one quest right there. That's nice. Um, all right. So do we want to pull our... Do we want to do that? We each pull our 500 bucks or. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally down for that. Because do. Do we have to do a little bit more than that or is it just. I was what saying if we did we... a little bit more than that and also did a second wagon just completely full of food? Ah. Well, yeah. Two, two wagons with uh -huh. food and trade goods. Yeah. And then we are worrying about it. Carrying the capacity of carrying all those sacks of food for ourselves. I also fish, you mm -hmm. hunt, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're having a vampire hunter with us? Yep. It, we, we don't necessarily have to bring him with us. I mean, do we decide, are we? Uh, yes. I mean, can you drink from the practice club? <laughs> okay. I just Interesting. Said, um, I don't know if he is himself a vampire, but if, you, if we want to decide he is, then. I don't, I you could dedicate your cactus to feeding him. I'd be okay with that, yes. But then you have a vampire in the party. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that goes. Who owes me <laughs> for feeding him? Truly. 400 for the cart. It's a good basis for starting a crunch. That gives us a total carrying capacity. Is somebody's got to ride in these carts, right? Not necessarily. So we can just string them up behind the caravan and mm -hmm. stringing up. Unless us. we have an epic cart chase, then we have no more problems. Right. So they can't carry your once they're pulling the cart, they can't actually carry anything. Right? That's right. Okay. Just wanted to 
for some reason I have that picture in my mind, the first caravan. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. On the flip talking. side of the... Uh, well, we could hire... Yeah, see, they don't... Well, I guess this one does, yeah. So he can carry. He's got two. Right. right. He can't. He can. This he can carry more than one, but he cannot pull. Seven dollars oh, a week to drive the cart. Yeah. Yep. Carting is the name of the rule. I don't know, the little bit I'm referring to. I'll show it to you in the. In That's the book. quite all right. Don't worry about it. So everybody, in the Rio, we have one. Let's just say that people ride in the cart. So that's going to take one sack. The carts have then total capacity of ten sacks, plus two extra sacks on. Oh, there's another rule. A creature can pull in a cart. A creature can pull triple its normal capacity. Does that make sense? So if you can carry two carts, you or two on your back, yeah. you can carry a cart with six. Which makes sense because yep, they yeah. say the cart is worth six. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. But still, if you put the person on there, that's ten. Okay. That's going to give us two extra then on the remainder of our mules and maybe we'll pass it over. So we got 12 sacks total as it stands if we buy two cards and four meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody with us so far? Yeah. I'm not, but I'm glad for the work that you're doing. Yeah, really. Like 12 sacks. <laughs> of carrying capacity. Okay. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. That total is going to get us up to 680 cash, leaving us out of our communal budget, is now going to bring us to, what is that, 1320 left? Sounds like a lot of coffee and saffron. <laughs> that would be one sack of saffron and three sacks, sacks of coffee. coffee. Okay, so now that's four. If we were to do that, one sack of saffron. Three. One sack of saffron. One sack of saffron. <laughs> that is going to drop our capacity. We now have eight sacks of capacity. Let me out of here. And five hundred bucks a piece to spend. He's how doing choose. so much work. Yeah, let's do it. So two <laughs> sacks. Let's just do this. Then. That means that everybody has two sacks. Let's bring you the scene. Okay, so you get two spots to use motor stuff. That makes sense. So that makes sense. 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 That mean like I am one and I have a sack for like when you're saying no, what my family is. No, you are right at the cart. No, no, no. Oh, but you're putting it in the cart. No, no, no. I already took when that. I as a passenger. So cars. either you're riding on a cart or on you. Okay. Way more okay. often so than usual, riding. people end up going the wrong way. It's on one way. It's so like, assuming that we're all riding. <laughs> that leaves everybody two sacks and five hundred bucks. Just one of those. Perfect. Okay. I have an aura of chaos. Everybody, we're with you on that. Yep. We were joking about how I'm not with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not with you because we're with you. God damn it. Okay, so here's where we Joe, Joe bought us carts. Yes. No, we um, can ride on them, and we got some trade goods and some food. Oh, I'm, I'm we got $500 go. a piece left to buy personal gear. We don't have food yet. We just have room for it. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So you have $500 left, and plus... Pretty cheap, so... That's bad. The... Co leftover capacity in our train as it stands is two sacks per person. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? Four, six, okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So. Oh, awesome. So how is this gear list? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was two like, the ticket that goes on our physical inventory. Yes, gear goes on your physical inventory. Skills and some spells go on your me metaphysical. Who has a spell, by the way? Ooh. Little. Uh, Does our do the carts and uh, goods also go onto our physical inventory? Those are on the caravan. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. This it. is for that. Right. Since you've done that calculation, it's sort of like here's whatever beasts or carts you have, their capacity, what they're carrying. How much they cost per week? Nothing here costs anything per week. How much supply per week? Uh, the horses technically have one supply per week, but you don't worry about that until they're in desert. Okay. You'd have to pay people per week. That's why it has a cost column. So, how do I for do your that? spell? Does everybody want? It looks like mule. There are three tables to determine its form. Okay. You want a camel? Yeah. You only gotta feed them half as much. Smart. That's really smart. So pony, mule, or camel? Oh, for yeah, each of us or, or overall? 
I'm doing a camel. What do you want? Albums. Mule. I gotta have a mule. Right. Albums are spells. I think. Er... This is the concept albums that have like six different spells rolled into them. Yes. Um, I was thinking that a single spell would also have that form. Yeah. Um, but you could maybe add spells to it, like a mixtape, sure. and still just take up the one inventory slot. I'm going to go camel to that was smart. So what if it also kind of it feels like a lot of death. Maybe we're we'll watching Charles. Loyalty, what uh, kind of beast are you looking for? We had camels, mules, or ponies. Whatever for the communal. Oh, no. personal. Is camel the most uh, efficient? Um, I'll look oh. at the inventory in my one. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. Is this the communal <laughs> ones that are... Or, These are the communal ones. I, so I, we picked four so yeah. that there was already you essentially treat one like your first one. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. Sweet. Um, if you want an extra one, great. Fine. Yeah, again, again, whatever. You don't care? No. Let's get a pony and then we'll have the full, right. we'll have yeah. the full range. Full roster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to have a cart and a cart. Um, capacity, so two, two, two. Since uh, you don't have a strong feeling about that, I'm roll dice. Loyalty's pony is like a pony mixed with a goat. Excellent. So goat pony? Is yeah. what I'm writing down here? Yes, please. All right. Thank you. Uh, goat pony, and then in parentheses, if you would... Uh, Cool. I've got details for Claude, comma, loyal. You can do that for each of them. Claude and loyal. Yep. All right. All right. Um, I'm a little unsure as to how to assign a cargo yet because I don't know what we all have. So I guess we'll wait on that. Um, Caspian for your gravity spell. Mm -hmm. There are tables to randomly determine kind of the form it takes, or you could come up with something. Again, remember, he chimes as necklace. Mm -hmm. it's something that'll take up either a physical or metaphysical inventory slot. Well, okay. Is the other um, equipment sheet kicking around? I can't find mm -hmm. it. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. Good question. Or is there another copy of one of the books? Oh, here it is. Okay. And uh, someone can also use the book. Look, equipment. Starts on this page. There's ten stones in a sack. Correct? Yeah, ten stones in a sack. And um, ten soaps in a stone. Ten soaps in a stone. Got it. Um, <laughs> prophylactics. Nice. <laughs> um, Like oh sure yeah. Oh that's that's what the sizes mean. Okay. So, what's the physical inventory work? How is that? You have as many physical inventory the number of physical inventory slots you have is equal to seven plus your ha score. Right. Yeah. But I mean, like, what is the measurement of these? If we're going with okay. stones, one inventory is a stone. Okay. Yep. 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 Gotcha. One what? One of your Inventory slots, physical inventory slots, is a stone, so one tenth of a sack. Which unless it's a, a sack. Yeah. Yep. I thought well, or, or each of these. You, yeah, there's a type of uh, what is it when you get your toolkit? Tent takes up two stones, which is two inventory slots. 
right? It's, if you get your toolkit, there's like uh, this quarters pack or uh, Farm Boy's Big Adventure. <laughs> Where's one the next page? Uh, just to make it easy. Yeah, part of it is that it. Can oh, we can get weapons too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and armors. Mm -hmm. All right. Here you go. I think I've got everything I need for the first bit, then I just need to get food. Oh, Which yeah. Is, how, is there food on the list? It's on what one of the basic equipment list. Yeah. Supplies, maybe? Yeah. Supplies on the list that has that so Cheap or better. Premium basic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought we were going to rely on you guys to feed us. I mean, yeah. Supplement. Oh, man. When you're caravanning. Oh, One bad day of hunting and really screw you yeah. <laughs> I would go for, of course, I would shoot any buffalo that came by in uh, uh, Oregon Trail, but I wasted endless bullets on squirrels. Yeah. They were the challenge. Yeah, they're the hardest <laughs> by far. Um. <laughs> How the hell do you get to Oregon? <laughs> That's just the long, <laughs> the question that just burned in my mind. <laughs> what did you get to Oregon? I got there and lived there, and I still have the question. <laughs> what the hell did <laughs> Time slip. What'd you buy, Kai? Oh, I'm going full Swamp Man. I've got the Naturalist Portable Laboratory. It's the, the most expensive thing I have. <laughs> so that I can do biomechanic stuff. Yes. Then Nomad Robes, Shield, Shaman's Gear, Spear. <laughs> Puka puka. <laughs> just... What do you think the portable lab looks like for? Ah, fuck. I feel like so much of it is more of just like a, like some sort of bag or like cape or sack or something that's literally just throws it over and there's just all this living stuff that he's like he can make sense of this. <laughs> you can see the code, like Neo. Reaches in, pulls out a string of tissue. <laughs> Snip. Snip. It's, it's distinctly not his shaman's gear because his shaman's gear's got the bones and the pipe on one side. So it's like... the wet and the dry. Yeah. Oh, that's all moving. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm mean, just imagining like meeting a new person and they're like scanning through your party. Brick, bloody net clothes. <laughs> Big old mustache and a bunch of disposable people. And then. And I really had yeah, to reassign the thing. It did the. Just so I could fit it was like, he has a zero for the soul, the cop, but he has two ba. Two for personality and divine favor. Nice. <laughs> the vestigial nice. fingers. The gods love Very him. Very smart. Yeah, he's. Good Look I, at that one. <laughs> I was thinking of this necromancer gear is expensive. And it's two sacks. Oh, wow. I know. I don't think I can do it. You don't, at this point, you don't have any corpses to be doing upkeep for, so. Right. But down the line. Yeah. Anybody who wants a gun would be a good I was thinking. Long range that. option. But wow. corpses would be cool, too. Just since if you're a necromancer, it would be great to have. At least for scary, yeah, we, spooky we don't have to spend skeleton. in everything right now either, right? You know, we can save some cash. Crystal yeah, said any of the circles we can buy stuff at. So right. And I so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some food. Yeah. Maybe How much is the food again? You can either go... Supplies, uh, one sack, $10. Or is okay. the Voyager or the premium basic is 2 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it one sack? Or... Yeah. yeah. They're both okay. one sack's worth. Huh. Just supplies. Here's part, but I'm going to be cheap. Supply. So a sack is you'd have to have an animal carry it. We have. Good, good, good. We yeah. each have two spots. Two two yes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. On the wagons. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Logistics. You're yeah. on top of the roof. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and, but again, the some of the gear options uh, mm -hmm. give you like a sack, so like you can carry a sack's worth of like trail mix or. Well, the, or yeah. the porter has like a. You can carry a sack's worth of gear on top of yeah. the other uh, stuff. It's so Farm Boy's Big Adventure. Yeah. They they give you bonus carry 
Yes. Capacity. Which when it's if it's a specifically a sack where it's like you could have an extra you could have food yourself, which you normally need an animal. So carry. if I'm made out of brick and I've got a crab for a friend. Of course. <laughs> I don't need armor. <laughs> Arguably um, <laughs> no, armor that's well, this is combat. Like the games we've played before, it's like I wanna do violence upon this thing. Okay. Roll a die. If you fail, one, two, three, you get hurt. If you succeed, four, five, six, it gets hurt. Uh, so that's and armor all. can take the hit. Exactly. Even if I'm a crab with my own natural armor. Yep, it's still it's still gonna hurt your because if it's cracking at your brick body, that's hurting your life. Mm -hmm. We each have two life. All right. You said we have two life. Yep. Yep. So that's two times that you can fail a violence roll. Oh, Unfortunately, okay. the cat armor. You gotta be a cat. I just that it doesn't it can't fit. <laughs> Tiny helmet, a little sink, something to your ass. You could get it for your crab. Cat sized. Um, no. <laughs> um, I would have to get him the uh, chit and your ass, <gasps> which is plus four. Damn, he could take a lot of hits. Juice down, cool, cumbersome, also called lobster. Oh, you know. It's a Note the difference between this and that. This is for the system as written. This is for us. So where is that chitin armor? Chitin cuirass? It could. It takes up two stone to carry it, and that's how many hits it could take. Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yep. So I, I got rid of that column because we're doing a little different system. Okay. So this is what I really want to look at. Yeah. And uh, it's still that. 600 bucks, though. <laughs> I mean, I like my crown, but... <laughs> You get a crab size one for a hundred. I still, I just feel like I'm made out of brick. It's like, uh, I only, I only need to take a, I take a hit right now. Nice. Well, when we're doing combat, maybe being made out of brick would give you an advantage on a roll. Right, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they have a pickaxe. I'm doing nomad robes, so I'm twelve bucks. More to be gone spell. <laughs> no, wait, not like this. <laughs> I wanted to do violence. I didn't want much. <laughs> so that still so I can see three stone now. So it's seven stone left. Um, Did you uh, buy gear for yourself, Cass? So I'm going to buy a med kit for $200. Yeah. I wasn't that impressed with what's all in it. Um, like scalpel. Has, yeah, like it's oh, stethoscope, scalpels, uh, morphine, a degree. Um, a degree. One of those. <laughs> okay. Oh, that must be my phone. Funny. Ooh. Cat claws gauntlet. What? There's a cat claws gauntlet. Mm -hmm. What's the what's that? It counts as an unarmed attack, so yeah. apparently nothing. So you have the Wolverine esque claw. Yeah. <laughs> or you yeah, have a full on club. Again, um, probably give you advantage on an unarmed attack. Alright, so I got a med kit supplies for my food. And then um, two smart ropes. Nice. <gasps> Very nice. The pair can dance. You know what? Yours is just equipment that you're. It's like molding. You're like you're, you're picking your molds to get different parts of your body molded to <laughs> shaped like armor. <laughs> so it'll, it'll take you better. Very nice. <laughs> Gets chipped off. I need to see a, a rock singer. <laughs> I'm going to start with... You haven't played Banner Saga, have you? Banner no. Saga, no. Okay. <laughs> you I speak of the rocks. You've played... Oh, it's a good one. Good. <laughs> Speaking of a caravan role-playing game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like uh, the Oregon Trail Ragnarok edition. Yep. <laughs> it's all like real slow and sad and beautiful cel-shaded painting animation. Ooh. Bunch of big sad trolls. Depressed introvert mages. 
the world gets eaten up behind you as you Oh, travel. my gosh. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> it's a good time. Good. Ah! Play that for inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the world doesn't fall down. Yeah, the sorry. The field's just coming. Violet City's gone. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. So it's gone. I'm uh, being slow. No, no it's not at all. We're, no, uh, we have a caravan thing for stuff. the... Because of our food, if we can't actually carry our own food, just mark down that I purchased the food. I keep forgetting. Did you say you regret not feeding? Reading through your box. I'll probably regret not, ah. like... Yeah, yeah, going all the way through you. Yeah. Weeding every little thing. Well, but I figured uh, this is enough for me to start, and we can buy more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's, I'm, I'm being kind of cheap, but I want to be. No, no, no. There are different strategies. There are different strategies. Yeah. Ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, the glow paint. That's the only thing that I'm going to do. So 22 bucks. Yeah. I just want to save some cash. Wait, you're 22? Oh, yeah. You've only spent 22 bucks? That's so hard. Ten. 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 I wanna big money over here. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I'm that's all I'm gonna start with. That's all I need. I got a crab. I'm good. <laughs> what did you buy? I bought uh some supplies, premium basic. I got some nomad robes and I have a flail. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, supplies are the standard ones or the what the good ones is ten? The good one's ten. Okay. And it counts as one sack. That's uh, so they, both, both sacks. Sacks. What? they both count as a sack. Oh, okay, gotcha. One sack would be your entire inventory if you're strong. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. You can load it up on there. Yeah, yeah, so it's cost is. Premium basic. I would put this on your um, steed sheet. Yeah. Because it would take your entire inventory for one sack. supplies if you're carrying it yourself. I. Yeah, I. Steen shoot. I was waiting on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because you want to hear what all the right. group is. Because I don't know. I just don't want that. I don't want that to be taken up one of your precious slots. Right. If something if an animal's carrying it. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. I hear you. Don't agree, but I hear you. Here's some supplies to put on the caravan. <laughs> you're doing two sacks to go in here. Same. Well. All right. So I will too. But even though I'm going to. I like eating. <laughs> So it costs as much as one sack of the good stuff. Right. Um, hang on. Uh, so in this cart, hang on one second. So mm -hmm. one saffron sack goes in there. In this cart, we've got our three coffees. Um, so that gives us somebody's riding as well. Put one person. Person. Sitting on a sack of cap coffee, looking um, out onto the grasslands as they pass by. Person has to ride here. One person. No one person. So they all have an extra as well. Okay. Um, you guys are going to have enough room for your supplies. We're going to have to do another card here. <laughs> uh, we got five left. So I've got. I'm up to four. I got one more sack. So one sack of supplies can go into one of the carts. That car is full. People can walk. People don't yeah, have to ride. Right. Suppose, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get loyalty. Take my mule. Speed. Yeah, I'm going to get his own speed. You can do that. Yeah. And then there will be more room for food on the wagons. All right. So who wants to go? So I got two sacks then in one cart. Two, two supply. That card is now full. Okay. So you had two sacks of supplies. You're so, going twos. Mm -hmm. You're Unless going we're two. two yeah. If we end up getting Are more. you getting your own steed then? You, you better. Yeah, yes. so I yeah. So four sacks of supplies. Now this, I'll add mine in there. So that's five. Does it affect our speed if we walk? If we have anyone walking, you know, like oh, that's true. if you yeah. had everyone mounted, you'd get a plus. Okay, yeah. but it, the that's, default is seven uh, mule. Penalty. Seventy. Okay, I'm doing. Mm -hmm. it. I, I, I did it too. I think I got for it. We had three hundred. Oh, wait, sorry, we had five hundred for ourselves. Like a mule has a capacity of two sacks, so two people can ride the same mule or camel. Oh. 
Unless you want to like carry some of your gear. Okay, so nice. bear in mind that we also not everybody needs to buy an extra one, right? We had two we have meals. So what right. we could do, here's what we could that work out. Let's say we could give that back to the pot and buy another sack and everybody just buys their own individuals. Cause I had initially budgeted out one sack per caravan for people to ride. Does right. that make sense? That's why we had to have the two extra. So we could knock that off. You mm. all just have your own. Okay. Is everybody following me? I'm trying. I'm sorry. So at the very beginning, what I did budget yeah. for our caravan was yes. four animals. To pull the two wagons? Yeah. Pull two wagons. And two wagons, yep. Yeah. Okay. Thinking one person's going to ride each cart, and then one person rides each animal. Right. Gotcha. And that's how we had a capacity set. So gotcha. now, since we're up against it a little bit space-wise, keep in mind, we already have two animals. Mm -hmm. yep. So it could be yours, could be yours. Gotcha. Abandoning the brick person riding on a mule. Yeah. <laughs> Pony now. <laughs> okay. So that being said, do I take that off of... So do all of our pack animals go on a caravan? Yeah, all animals and vehicles should be counted in the caravan. Okay. This is just a nice sheet to look at and get like a snapshot of what is your what it what does it look like when y'all come over the horizon. Yeah. Gotcha. Two, and then I'm on this one, one person, and then I have my extra sack of supplies. Um, and that's like so back up here, mule, you're you got your own the one you're riding. Mm -hmm. in here somewhere. Gotcha. Okay. And yep. then there you'll have one other sack of Right, if it's not, let me pull it okay. Look, that makes sense. It was a yeah. So then, because I put all your supplies in. in the, okay. And then, Let's do we have enough room for everybody to have two supplies? Yes. Okay. Awesome. But, uh, no, just like and I am not too stressed about that. that. Oh, there it is. Oh. It's uh, this. Who else was hey, that? there it is. Is that what we want to do? Yeah. Do you want another camel? <laughs> I can give Yay. you an existing camel. Um, no, that's a boy. Never mind. Just up, do I have to list my cactus and rope? I got two smart ropes. Do I have to put them, like, do they count as a sack or a stone? Or? Each smart rope would be a stone, and the cactus would be a stone. Uh, my organ, uh, iron pyrite organ. A stone that you're carrying around. Seven strands of unbreakable silver wire. One stone, one inventory slot for all seven of them. Okay, so I am getting close on capacity. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh. So one, two, those little ones. Are you having to give something up or? No, I should be right there. Nine, I'm at okay. nine stone. Nice. So I have one stone left, right? You have seven plus haws, how many stone you can carry? Hmm? Seven plus ha. So you got seven that you can carry plus whatever your ha number is. Yes. Uh, at nine you can carry. You're right. Oh, I, so I, like, I, if you have ha one, that's how many slots you have. If you have ha two, that's how many slots you have. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I got plenty of pass yet. But I'm going to keep it because I want the money. I mean, do we each only get two sacks still? Of supply. Um, we've actually picked up an extra four because we're buying two other uh, pack animals to carry. Okay. Them. So I had everybody's. He had planned for all of us riding, but then yeah. there's extra space if we aren't yeah. all riding. So how many sacks can I put into the communal wagon? In the wagon, I already have you, you had two, right? I had two. I have you loaded. Okay, perfect, because I then also have my own camel. Yeah. So yeah. then I'm fine with my cactus and ropes now. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I think we're all... We're all, as far as I can tell, yeah. loaded with a little extra space to go. Good. There's a box here to keep track of cash if you pool all of your cash together. Otherwise, you can write down your individual amount of cash left over I somewhere in your seat. Okay. And we only spent 24 bucks, and we have 500 left over. Okay, so the 500 individually we still have to um, spend. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't overdoing my budget. Yeah. Honest. Which I've well. So currently, I've got 500 minus 
my 24 box of supplies that I got to grab. So it's full. I'm thinking about since you're all mounted, there's a version of the sheet where this is bigger, but um, I would put like a plus here, plus mounted. Just lets us know that if you do end up tallying days, like I briefly mentioned before, like tallying penalty days for being slowed down, mm -hmm. the mounted would negate one of those. Help Someone uh, name me a memorable smell. Uh, uh, Redwood bark. Redwood bark. <laughs> it's my favorite smell. <laughs> All right, that's what I, I don't have. know if I've ever smelled that. Loyalty's Battle Camel. I love Yelga Butterscotch. His what? Yelga the Battle Camel is incredibly loyal and always smells of like redwood bark. Oh. You can smell <laughs> that sawdusty smell. smell before Yelga appears over the sand dune. Oh, my oh, that, oh, that is a good smell. That is. Yelga seems remarkably loyal. <laughs> we'll follow loyalty anywhere. Good. Is it Wait, did you just buy the camel random, and it's random. already super loyal to you? I just rolled it, yeah. It's just completely random. <laughs> That's hilarious. Being a battle camel, Yelga can also be around a battle without fleeing. Right, oh, exactly. Nice. Spook is the uh, sound of drums like Hannibal's elephants. <laughs> Good. All right. Wait, where did you roll that? On the animal variants, Can I wanted to be yoga the battle camel, so I didn't roll the like is it a go across with a big bit. Yeah. I just rolled the um, unique trait and disposition. Nice. Okay. I'll, I'll flush out my pony. Which seems worth doing here. All manner of creatures. All right. In that uh, right under the lid there, there's Two. a little table to get your pony. Page four, I think. Well, that's great. Oh, yes. You're just skittish? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't need that. Cute. <laughs> Digby's skittish. Is he though? Well, maybe skittish well, should be blind. a new thing. Because yeah. I'm startled by a like, like, I've never seen him like do anything skittish. Yeah. He's, he's too deaf to be skittish, but if something comes into his field of vision unexpectedly, he does start. Talking about our skittish boy. All right, so I am uh, a horse crossing the beetle. <laughs> awesome. And uh, uh, I have superb night vision. And I'm curious. Nice. Or I should say my horse is. Yeah. <laughs> Night vision beetle horse. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Just always wander around in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Stuff. Tripping over my sleeping grab. What's that? Something's approaching the camp. Oh, it's just the beetle horse. <laughs> Again. Uh, it's always, uh, always out there horse. wandering around. <laughs> oh, buddy, you can find another shrubbery. <laughs> Gittering about. <laughs> um, what's your caravan's motto? The image or like an expression? Expression. Mm -hmm. Thousand camels. Thousand camels. It's a working motto. <laughs> if no one minds. <laughs> thousand camels. Can I have a thousand camels? I gotta come up. Could someone roll me a D100, the percentile dice? Uh, 83. Do you still have that financier little card that had their details on yeah, it? Here's all the details. Thank you. Give them a name. And it's Sia. S I Y A. Could I get one more of those rolls for a last name? Illiberat. Ooh. Or actually, I just realized they're a satrap. So they will be satrap 
54 quotation marks seer. So I'll interpret it see ya. So that's your financier. I'll write that down here as well. Safe trap 54. See ya. Missions and goals. Thousand camels. Any other missions and goals? Uh, was it yet one? So, so yeah. that is yeah. two, two thousand. Yeah, yeah, deliver uh, uh, an inheritance. Yeah. And uh, apparently, figure out some abnormality down. Organ abnormality. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is that letter again? Yeah. What about that letter? Uh, Canyon, Pot Canyon, or something. Yeah. Very close, yeah. Pot Shed. Crater, yeah. Yeah. Pot Shed. Crater. And you can determine what that inheritance is. Interesting. <sighs> uh, organ in Ivory Plains. Does delivering a letter of inheritance mean I'm just letting someone know that someone in their family died and left them something in their will? That's my first read of it. Yeah, yeah you're kind of like a, um, an actuary. Okay. So, Got an insurance a corrector and an actuary. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Debt. <laughs> oh. oh. Exactly. So I'm going to go. Yeah, you can inherit that. Well, I mean, this thing is oh, a capitalism. So bad. Yeah. Especially if you're like, I ain't talked to this family member or I didn't like this family member. Yeah. Uh, just keep running. Just keep running. <laughs> yeah. Seems like we've kind of generated everything up. We start off in the Violet City. It's going to turn into that many camels. If we actually shoot that many camels, it would eventually turn into a scene of us trying to. Catch Bird. up with the camels as they run away. Yeah. <laughs> it says they have normal speed. I know. Just so we had to come up with scratch to buy. Uh, I have rope. I have smart rope. Yeah. It's, yeah. Here's an image of the city that you'll set out from Violet City on the edge of the sea, surrounded kind of by a lot of bog land, especially yes. from where the blue folks come from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's stratified, poor people, richer people, very rich people. Uh, and when you first enter in, you see a lot of cats in the street. It's kind of like the city of cats. Um, and they, when you first come in from your various places, just come in and consider you for a moment and then sort of back away and let you come on through the streets. It's kind of like Egypt, you know, they love cats around these parts. Um, and I wonder if we'd like to do a turn of moving from one location to another, or a turn of being in the Violet City, or call it here. Nine twenty. I'm down to. I think it would be really good to play one turn or something. Turn. Let's do a turn. See what what we're in for. Yeah. yeah. So do we want to do a turn of being in the city or moving out of? The I'm ready to stretch my legs. Yeah, let's go. Sucks. All this preparation, let's get on the road. Yeah. He's introduced uh, to me as a tiered system. We're going to the low road and the high first. All right, after we weeks, might as well, let's head towards the fortune creator. Yeah, low and the high. All right, after weeks of putting up with the whispery, after a week or so of putting up with the whispery bullshit of the people of the cat city, and the, the cats you find out, several of them have little human hands, some have snakes for tails and the the people are always like Suez traveler welcome to the city of the and you figure out that it seems like the cats run the show or the people are just obsessed with cats around here <laughs> and you buy the cat coffee and they're all hope you enjoy the present of the cats and you're like okay and then yeah. you take off all right, I got the last bag, last cat out of the bags of coffee. Right. Let's go. Let's pick up another one. Now, when you say they have snakes for tails, does that mean like a snake head or they have a snake's tail for their tail? Good question. How chimera-esque is the 
Sneak hit. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And all the all the cats with little human hands and snake tails are black, and they always have a person with them. Interesting. Yep. And some of the other cats are. <laughs> um awesome who is gonna be the person who rolls misfortune first oh, we're going in the box come on baby <laughs> this, is, this is my this is my lane let's do it let's roll it all right uh Get you something real bad <laughs> first spend supplies so knock off four supplies in our travel yeah as you spend a week moving yeah, away from the boggy lands. All of our supplies are in a caravan sheet that you have. Oh, sorry. You're in charge of our supplies. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> so four of them. All right. Yeah, four one more thing. supplies. Yep, we're down to... Now, compared to the places of the, the Circle Sea that you come from, suns rise odd in the uh, time that you spend on this journey. we're heading towards... Here, right? Yep. Okay. At eight o'clock, the sun creeps out from behind like a wall of purple blackness on the horizon. That the longer you travel, you see more and more this smog is obstructing the sunlight. And on the first day, the real thing. Yeah. Okay. One seven. <laughs> seven. Oh Lucky number You're still seven. Journey, guys. We all die. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Everybody dies. Four hours of character building. We all. <laughs> first time. I, I, my first game of uh, OSE, old school BX D and D. There was a total party kill. With some big weasels. Are all the horses on there? Uh, on that sheet. Yeah, I suppose mean, I they are. I have another one on Someone my sheet. Someone has a mule. Right. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> One random steed is lost as you are traveling. So I want to randomly determine who that is. Just One, two, that. three, four. Oh. Starting with you. One, three. One of your steeds is lost. So we're going to say there's kind of two for you. There's Yelga the camel and then the weird pony that's just pulling stuff. Mm -hmm. Evens, it's Yelga. Yelga the battle camel. The loyal? Is somehow lost. Oh no! You can spend you can spend a day to uh, search for it if you would like. And Guys, we barely have a town, and Yelga's wandered off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, she's a trained battle camel. She'll be fine, but I'd really miss her. Oh, yeah. And you know, a shame to lose a good battle camel on the first day on the road. Uh, we gotta find her. You did. <laughs> I can uh, go for loyalty a swim. has a pair of oculars and we'll use them to begin scanning the distant horizon for where Yelga may have gone. Oh, yeah? There you go. What's a Mike Gravity spells like? like I can you pull the camel I can you? change direction of gravity for myself. Can I somehow help in this situation of like pulling? Do I have to have eyes on the camel to do it? It's going to take. I think you'd have to have eyes on the camel. To do How that. high can but you go up reversing gravity? Okay, so now uh, like... you can tell the way that Yelga went, and it looks like uh, looking at the uh, marks left behind and the oil stains in the grass, some kind of machines made off or machinish biomechanical creatures maybe made off with Yelga. So if you want to go look at it, but there's we... also camel dropping, so she's still alive. Can we stay uh, in town and party? <laughs> well, it's, well, it's one day out. You could spend the day to go back to the Violet City while he's looking for it. <laughs> no, and that would be plus a day to your your tally when you go back out again. We can't just go right to the city while he goes and looks. It would take... Yelga gets lost sort of at the end of the first day. So you'd, you'd lose a day if you went back. Gotcha. You do, wouldn't, since you're all mounted losing a day to get Yelga wouldn't hurt you because the mounted tag. Right, we're already going fast. All right, you'll get your camera. I'll go with you. All right. You're going to go like that. Well, he's going to find him. Biomechanical things? I'm, I'm Thank you, Yeah. You understand. <laughs> the relationship between a boy and his camel is a sacred bond. I got to watch the cards, right. man. Alroy keeps an eye on the valuables, the saffron. 
uh, uh, Kathak and Loyalty follow the trail. What about uh, Mila? Loyal Loyalty is a total kid. He's like twenty. <laughs> okay. Um, he is. He is like just a thug of the machine. I want to practice my gravity. And so just I'm great bushy tail, big blonde mustache, and bright blue eyes. So I'm watching all the stuff, and they're going off after this camel. You're watching it? Okay. Good, good, good. Give me one. Uh, loyal loyalty is going to um, don his scale armor, um, even though it's hot and uncomfortable, uh, just in case these oil dropping things turn out to be hostile. <laughs> well, after a day's travel, you are able to find Yelga uh, on top of a bear sort of ridge, but she looks oddly biomechanical now and she's just standing basking in the sun um you can say sort of what exactly the scene looks like or what she looks like but you can tell that vi volms just short for violent machines which are just trouble in these parts must have made off and then corrupted her source code and now she's a bio biomechanical battle camel oh yelga what did they do to you she made a friend. Just all, 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 you, you can my see. biomechanical <laughs> thing in my neck is just, I'll go ahead and hit it. You ever see something like this, hot dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did they do to my camel? Made friends. It doesn't sound like it's You can bad see thing. that there's, there, but... there's something they've done to the, the um, follicles of the fur all around, especially the hump that Yelga now feeds on sunlight and radiation. And she, I mean, you know, the, the valley goes through the, a creature that doesn't need to eat grass. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty valuable. So twice as valuable. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, there's also something strange. She looks unnerving now. Um, maybe a titanium jaw with no flesh mm -hmm. on it. Oh, Yelga. It'll be all right. Maybe we can find someone to paint a proper camel face over that. Mm -hmm. But why? She's beautiful now. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. She's magnificent. There is a certain beauty. Staring into the sun, you can see her eyes sort of like reflect red in the sun. That rictal camel grimace, though, I don't know, man. Maybe it'll grow on me. Man. Ride right. her on back. Ride her back. And we'll Giddy see. up, we'll Yelga. We've got 998 more camels to find. Come on. The rest of the six days pass relatively, <laughs> <laughs> relatively uneventfully compared Ooh. to that. Hey, have you all noticed that Yoga hasn't eaten any grass for three days? <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's sick though. She's still strong. <laughs> what is wrong with this camel? Yoga, are you like a night eater now? Do you just go and graze while we're all sleeping? I'm trying to think of like she makes the noise that camel makes, but with a little like eight bit distortion. <laughs> <laughs> She tries to spit. But she right, no, yeah, exactly. No, that's funny. I don't even know what kind of noise a camel makes. <laughs> it's gotta be little, like oh, it's not guttural. Yeah, I think it's sort of snorkel and wheeze. Yeah, that's what I have to say while we're. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Well, they, don't, they don't spit. That's llamas. Llamas spit. Llamas spit. Uh, yeah. So do alpacas. We they mostly spit at each other though. Uh, Caspian. Hierarchy. Yeah, and I went to a llama farm recently. <laughs> we just for spitting at each other. Yes, I know. Okay. When it was funny. food, when it was food time, one did. Yeah. Uh, the t the terrain gets less uh, wet as you pass the circle rim, which is sort of this raged reason. On the third day, you go into the gnaws, and you can see the low road and the high in the distance there actually is a high road which is sort of imaged here it's a bunch of pylons and a raised ancient road nice. uh, uh... <laughs> yeah that easily could be eight bit, <laughs> eight -bit of five. that's the uh, sounds that accompany you over the week of travel <laughs> 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 Yelga sparks at the critters that are lower in the, um... You know, the weird thing is, she still smells like redwood bark. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> so nice. Such a nice guy. A week passes, and you arrive 
at the low road and the high. And there are uh, ruined camps you can see. There's another caravan, mostly of skeleton porters, uh, that have stopped in an improvised long ago building, but like the roads out here, you can't really tell what the building was it used to be. It's kind of deteriorated, made out of uh, living stone. Uh, and the that raised viaduct is made from dry land coral. So it's this beautiful cordo, coral pattern, but uh, much harder. All over it's surrounded by these pallid uh, white and yellow grasses. Uh, you can see it going forward the high road. There's also a low road, which is probably the one you're interested in, which leads to the, to the crater. Yeah, yeah. The crater. Wait, the what crater? Sure, the crater. Oh, we're well, already there? Not quite. No, you're a week away, but I can see the road that leads to it. Uh, it's two weeks to get there. And we already ate one week of supplies. We need to, but we're in town so we can re -add. Well, it doesn't sound like much of a town. Is so, there anywhere to get supplies here? Sick. As you good? come into yeah. sort of where the oh, road begins, you see over. <laughs> Uh, from beyond, uh, from behind an old statue of a uh, hand, bring a peace sign, a clockwork, a towering, uh, clattering, laborious biomechanicum. <laughs> Clearly, uh, it belongs to the satraps there. You can see clockwork uh, gears at work inside them. Long, uh, they're made of glass uh, uh, crystals, and they're long, spindly silvery legs come down from them uh, and columns of gay beautiful dancing colors glistening gra glass crenellations all around them no faults beautiful looks like the thing was made yesterday uh, and you can see a satrap uh, in hot pink with a blue visor uh, looking down uh, and sees you and hails you uh, and uh, <laughs> offers, uh, hello, traveler. We are a tra we are a traveling light circus. <laughs> Two hundred cash to spend a day in the crystal clock. <laughs> and you see the like belly of this weird spider glass thing come open, and you just see <laughs> light of many colors come out of it. <laughs> It'd be a hundred experience points if you wanted to buy a day in the crystal clock. A hundred experience points? <laughs> Dang. And then you get, uh, we need, how much was it? 200 cash. His voice is uh, amplified. Is that <laughs> yes. <laughs> he sounds disappointed. I could cut you a deal. 500 for the four of you. Wow. Well. I still wouldn't be able to carry my weight under that too. <laughs> I'm uh, saving my cash to buy camels. Yeah, you need camels, don't you? I, uh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the I camels. <laughs> yeah, like, it was like a day inside a there. Like, it what? will pass. It will seem to pass in an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> it will seem to pass. Should you get 100 experience points? Yes. <laughs> it's a bargain. It kind of is. Like, when do you level up 300? <laughs> when you go with three. Ah, oh, we're at level zero. Level yeah. one. Oh, okay. The stat traps are meta characters. I'll do it. I'm thinking I will, too. I'm right, so, well, I can right, stay with uh, the caravan. Uh, <laughs> I'll well, sure enjoy the light show. Um... So I'm down to 276 now for cash. Skeller Yellig and I are going to go hunting, I guess. Ooh, so now we're, nice. we got one on one experience. Uh, 100 experience. 100. Point. One is level, and then I can do a slash 100 for XP. Or zero slash 100. Yeah, that's or right. Zero. Zero. Uh, what is it like spending a day in the crystal clock of the master light magician, Satrap 78 Circus? Um, uh, well, the snacks were great. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, it's like, it was a lot like 
you know, a Cirque du Soleil show where it was really, you know, it was very heavy into the visuals, but maybe not so much the plot. Um, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. I would, uh, you know, I don't necessarily need to go see it again, but I would recommend <laughs> somebody who hasn't gone go. Nice. Especially if you can get a deal on the, uh, like if you can get like a group on. <laughs> do it, you know. Hell of a Yelp review. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, it was fun. Nice. It was fun. All right. Circus is a circus is a good guy. I'm imagining you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I enjoyed that we were standing waist deep in a ball pit while watching. <laughs> that was fun. So sometimes you know, creepy, like... but fun. <laughs> you don't ever know what's in those. You know, like, you know fish out some band aids. Yeah, that's true. You don't know how often they wash the balls. <laughs> what what color balls in the ball pit? Doesn't it change with the light? Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> You can keep you can keep a ball as a souvenir. You can get one soap so a tenth of a slot if you want. Uh, we get a we get a, a ball though. Yeah. A, a ball of the crystal clock. It appears a Tell your friends we we random we wander randomly through the grasslands. But mostly around the roads. Alright. I just, I still love the, the opening of, it appears it will end in an hour. <laughs> just, what? Hold on. So during the day they're in there, uh, Loyalty goes hunting to supplement our dwindling supplies. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Due to there yeah. not being as many towns that we We were only there for an hour. hour. We didn't lose a day. Yeah. Right. Orange. Thanks, Loyalty. <laughs> you had an hour to get in there. Once you're in there, you're in there for a day. <laughs> yeah. It feels uh, like a day. Roll a d20. Um, three. Three. All right. Uh, you don't come up with nothing. Why didn't we bring the big game hunter back up? <laughs> Why didn't we pocket any of those snacks? While we were there? Yeah. <laughs> We come back in for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my. I, I want a different color ball. I, I forgot know? my watch. I want the band aid in the pit. <laughs> Let me get it out of there. What color would you like? <laughs> I don't know the. Hand. I don't know the name for it. I have to go see it. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> it opens up the spidery trap door again. Oh, so you're able to go back into the crystal clock, but now. Uh, Carnival is sort of there with arms crossed, tapping. <laughs> Guarding the snack table. The snack table. Like, they'll notice if you try to eat the snacks. But can I use my smart rope to fish some snacks? Nice. So you could, I'm imagining you like conversing with Carnival while the smart rope goes and that's <laughs> what are the snacks that you I'll keep them distracted because they speak his language oh, of course nice. yeah. okay yeah. so I, I'm, I've got this guy What's your <laughs> let's look at what so, their language oh. is if I'm good I mean, you go steal the snacks <laughs> you've literally uh, distracted me by saying that <laughs> satrap canto uh, the color and light adapted language of the Spectrum Satraps seems to be an outlying dialect of some larger language group or system, you would know then. Its writing traditions are polychromatic and use both color and sound to convey meaning. Without light generating organs or a rainbow translation array, this language is practically unusable by baseline humans. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm built for the role, so I'm like, I'm doing flashing bits in my palm, my face is changing colors. Like, yeah, exactly. The visor, their visor changes colors, shoot light, they shoot light onto the I'm walls. telling him how good I think his show is. <laughs> you know, so that's what I'm telling him. Excellent. Uh, you Caspian, you can. Uh, roll a d4 and have that many stone of whatever kind of snack. It's the pyramid. Uh, oh. Die. Oh. Yes. Or stone of snacks you're rolling. Well, I do have two small ropes, so I can. Um, but they're kind of <laughs> like Turkish delights, but in the sense of like they're um, 
They're like jello, but that's like hydr like that's like water that's like hydrating and then like little pistachios inside so that's like kind of like filling. So you get kind of like a drink and some calories in one. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um in your conversation with Carnival, mm -hmm. do you mention that you know a safe trap? Uh, seer? Ooh. I didn't bring it up. All right. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, uh, I totally forgot. Of, uh, I was so focused on the snacks. That... Have you spoken this language with an, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a fluent speaker before? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I have. Uh, the guy who hired us to uh, start off on this wacky quest uh, happened to be a safe trap. Oh, say trap number what? <laughs> I don't remember. 54. Thank you. Let's take that bite. I wonder if it's Say trap 54 seer. Oh, it's really? I didn't. Where did. Chris said it. I didn't write yep. it down. I wrote it down up here. Oh, oh you did. Uh, yeah, it's 54. Seven would be neutral. Two is bad. Two, they don't like them. 12, they do. So six. Ah, uh, yes. Seer. So they're still in the Rainbow Lands, eh? Yeah, 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 you're still good. Working for some vampires. Did you find that life. ball yet? Yeah. <laughs> they're totally <laughs> disinterested in what you have to say. I quickly could, I could grabbed two of them. I was like taking my time deciding this whole time. And then I throw one back and I go, yeah? A lovely color. I would call that blue. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> like the comedic value of leaving the light show to have them all be clear crystal balls and they were only colored by the show itself. Yeah. Would have been fun. There is no color outside of the crystal clock. <laughs> all right. Um. Hey, yeah. welcome back. I feel like it's fun at the circus. Oh, right. I have it's really boring out here. Yeah. Like, Yelga, the, the camel, is the only animal for miles. And I'm not sure she even counts anymore. Well, so I have smells snacks. good, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's that. Boy, oh, she smells good. All right. The wagons were boring, too. <laughs> the wagons were boring. <laughs> Back amongst yourselves just a moment. I'm wondering if a rule about discoveries, which are sort of satellites off of the main areas. Oh, yeah. Do you get a free discovery just for passing through? I don't know, but I don't think so. so let me check. So if we didn't get one already? When do we get to explore again? Can we take time to do it? Can yeah, I think that's good. Thank you, chicken it right now. So yeah, when good. heroes arrive at a new destination, one hero makes oh, yeah. a role for discoveries. Uh, have heroes take turns, so it's not always the same character making discoveries. Let's do the same person who rolled. Look at Hathak, because yeah. Hathak wasn't involved in oh, you are hunting okay. for no game or seeing the lights, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so there's there's just re -up on her. Low and bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So while you're there, that group I talked about before, who was hanging out in the, the husk of an old house, yeah. uh, come up to you, and uh, they're Greenlander necromancers. Um, and they're sort of snooty, but they're kind of like looking you all up and down while they approach uh, and strike up a conversation. Okay. Six. Non-magicians say, ooh, six is a six. Shash. So far, upgraded an animal in a freaky way. <laughs> Sorry. What's the light show? It made me That's think nice. of the uh, the biomechanical rabbit floor from Guardians of the Galaxy Three. Oh, why? When you're describing the, uh, I know it's so sad. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> That's better not be foreshadowing. Right. <laughs> Check one thing quick. This uh. Game has longer load times than <laughs> most games. Uh, you can just say loading while you're just loading. 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 You roll that for you got me. it. Three. Nice. Hope it's good. <laughs> Who's getting biomechanically upgraded so, now? Yeah. So they're, they're looking over at where uh, they've parked next to that hand uh, in oh, the, so the clock. 
you are like, a fine hand, but not as interesting as the rusted hand of victory. Another one, another one that says, That's like <laughs> Oh yeah, where's that? <laughs> It's only a day's march from here, and they point. Uh, they point in the direction. Uh, we had a lovely picnic there, didn't we? Yes, check and roll cherries, you know. I suppose are you off to the porcelain princes to get some fruit to pedal? Ask you what you're. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they take out a glow a, a sack that's uh, glowing and going <laughs> and take out some radioactive fruit to me while they talk to you. I guess it depends. Uh, so the hand of victory is a day from the uh, low, low high, <laughs> yeah. the low road and the high. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it depends on who's buying. You guys. Bought those and brought them all the way up here to have a picnic by hand? That's right. We thought we'd just swing by the prince's place, have a gay old time, and bring, bring the foods back, you know. We're bringing scrimshaw bone from the ribs of the father, so we could we could afford to have a little uh, tattle tat with the princess. Hey, wait a second. Where's the list? Well, that stuff? seems like a big to-do. <laughs> Yes, quite. It must be a big deal down like west. Down west. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, <laughs> they oh, look back and their uh, corpse worm, which is like a, a <laughs> bus sized just clump of oh. tissue with uh, 100 arms, like uh, caterpillar legs. Oh, has, with that in the background, it's, it's like trying to listen to the conversation, but it's always just that. Like, what was the oh, little guy, they <laughs> run over to it and just attend to it. <laughs> It got like turtled on its back. Oh, <laughs> where's the uh, I know. <laughs> where's the list of uh, stuff we can buy and sell? Trade goods. Is that me? No. Uh, probably over here. Oh, let's see. Uh, what are spring shot bones? Is this a biomechanical creature? Or no? Yeah. yeah. Oh, if it is, uh, can I use combination of spears, leverage, and for yeah. my biomechanical toolkit, uh, maybe some what sort of tickling they... mechanic? Oh. Did they, uh... did you... Absolutely. What did they get him over them? a minute. <laughs> What's that? What did these guys have with them? Scrimshaw bone art from the ribs of the father. Worth maybe noting because the they top, the bone thing maybe used that to get the berries, right? <laughs> oh, we used some of it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you tickle a good worm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could yeah. use a worm tickler like you. <laughs> Would you like to cut and run from your little group and join a true necroambulist? Ah, uh, well, I, necroambulist. Well, I got one of those necroambulances myself. He's over. Are you, is this while they're in the light show or the like? We're... Your butler uh, oh, walks God. up carrying, uh, carrying the totem and just ominously eyes uh, the, the Greenlanders. Uh, and shakes his head. And they say, oh. Ah. Sorry, I'm a professional citizen. I'm got looking towards things. I'm on a bit of a mission. Right. <laughs> but happy to tickle the worm anytime. <laughs> <laughs> when we get on a bony horse and they start to go away. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Once your butler comes up and they realize that you're a professional citizen, <laughs> done with you. I welcome you to note here. You can draw a line in any direction and then put a dot or a triangle or a square for the um, hand of victory, oh. rusted hand of victory. Uh, sure, it would be convenient if it was a day down the road towards mm -hmm. one of the spots we wanted to go to, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Not that, you know. Let's say somewhere around here. You oh, know what I'm saying? Sorry, was it victory? Hand yep. victory? Handle victory. I'm probably, I guess I'll be able to check it up in the book how far away it is, but it's a day away, and that's worth some XP. I wonder if I should tell you how much. Old 76. Oh. Yes, it's a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,. Again, we can re-up before we go anywhere else, right? Because we're actually in a town. 
you're in a site. So just like the Satrap circus that came by and this uh, group of snooty people that are there, you can tell like this is a place that people sort of stop off and rest. It isn't a city, but well, it's a landmark. Or not like it. Unless we can find another Oh, is that what you want? He us. just, they just walked. Way, sorry, that's that fantastic. Mm -hmm. Way to, uh, look <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Well, I did. now we're out. Uh, we got snacks. Is that ever, like, I got to hear about a giant hand sticking out of the ground. It's apparently better than this one. Way better than the pilot. They said we got one day worth of supply. I don't you know. At least a week in the wagons, right? We can go one week, but we're two weeks from anywhere. They Unless seem a little to, snooty. Uh, so I mean, they might have left some of their picnic behind. <laughs> I'm just saying. We have to go back to the city and buy a bunch more. Buy a bunch more. We'd have to spend our. Uh... No, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Loyalty. Oh. Or. Shoulders his bolter and says, I'll hunt us some grub. That sounds great. <laughs> I mean, I know there wasn't anything but camels around here, and we don't need our own camels, but there's got to be some sort of big game out there. Question Did we ever bring the vampire hunter with us, or is he not with us? No. Okay. Screw that guy. <laughs> All right. I never there are The ruin that I mentioned. You don't need him. I can hunt us all the big game. You don't want to make that. I mean, FYI, there are whole camps in the ruins where other caravans have stopped off. So if you wanted, you can get stuff here. Yeah. You can also hunt. All right. So we could, we could like find other caravans around here. To purchase some food. Yep. And we can also party while he was hunting. <laughs> party, party, party. This is not a partyable place. You could party in the violent city like nobody's business. Like, you yeah, know. not so much. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I don't know if you'd want to do that, though. You might become one of those cat people. Right. <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> your, your mind flashes back to a scene we saw of an, an orphan running out of an alleyway and saying, A cat tried to crawl into my mouth. Oh, <laughs> 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 gross. Oh, <laughs> uh, dick. Um, oh, maybe those guys will sell us some food. What, the, the guys over there? Yeah. Yeah, whoever's camping there under those. So, good eye. <laughs> so those are good eyes. You know, maybe we should. How much room do you have left? It's so much harder to see out here in this fresh air versus the we muggy bogness. <laughs> we re up the Where are the bugs? Yeah, I don't know. That we, uh, that you ate up. Yeah, and then we would have room for one, two. Um, and we have room for two more. And you could get supplies here for uh, uh, 15 a sack. Because you're on the road, it costs a little yeah. more. Okay. That's understandable. So everyone. If you got that extra 15, two. And then. And if we got that extra two. If he's hunting, that would, that could, I mean, like, on, on occasion. I'll buy the yeah. extra sack this time. I'll kick in the extra sack. Okay. All right, so Enjoy. everybody's going to be in 15, except. I have zero. You spent all your money? <laughs> oh, <laughs> crystal <laughs> clock. But you do have four stones of. Uh, Snacks. Yeah. Yep. Great. So that'll hold you for four days. You can have a Turkish delight today. No. Yeah. It will hold you for four days. I mean, oh, nice. yeah, you can have my cut, I guess. That's a shock as far as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> you can have my cut. Alright, you know what? Maybe I'm just buying one. Soon enough, we we're going to be rolling in camel money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big problem. We'll just, we'll have a big sack of supply budget money and we won't even have to do this <laughs> As our closing um, scene, what is uh, the group that you buy uh, sacks or buy supply from? If anybody wants to invent that. Um, uh, they yeah, just live here <laughs> um, <laughs> in their own little, little shanty town in these ruins, and they they have a hamster farm, <laughs> hamsters of all sizes and colors. Golly, no, and they sell the and they, they they sell um, sacks of jerky, but they insist that there is no connection between the. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! It's not. Hamster, we love the hamsters. The hamsters are our companions. <laughs> really, like, we're here farming really hamsters. We don't eat hamsters. Jerkies. <laughs> but of really course, they super. can't say the source of the jerkies because it's well, they, could, they couldn't. They wouldn't give away. They wouldn't give away their sources. 
It's a trade secret. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we don't have time to hang out and like, observe them and spy on them and find out. Yeah. They do it, they insist that we all pet hamsters before we leave. And um, they tell us about how amazing the soft underbelly for a hamster is. Oh. Like, oh, just curl your fingers in there. And it's just like heaven to curl your fingers in the soft underbelly of a hamster. You have a dichotomy of both like being totally enraptured by the hamsters. Like, seems like such a waste. There's so much good meat here. Yeah. <laughs> one of the hamsters. Yeah. One of the hamsters rises in the air and begins to move towards your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> your stomach growl. <laughs> And How much are the hamsters? <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask now. How much? Because it's a situation. No. But how much? Yeah, but for real. Twenty cash a stir. Hamster. <laughs> Twenty cash. That was worth it. What is it? Twenty what is, is. That's absolutely worth it for that pun. I don't <laughs> buy it. <anymore. laughs> you buy. You buy stuff with hamster. And now it's. Where do you spend all your money? On the experience of the clock. But what did you spend on him before? It's the I eternal battle to not eat it. Oh, you got the best. So I did that. Eternal battle. That's for the degree. That's a degree. Your hamster is a veteran. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and loves to splash in water. <laughs> yes! This is. Oh, best 20 bucks ever. <laughs> Hamsters have like a thousand mile stare grandma. and a little scar under its cheek. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the only time it can break out of its PTSD is when it can splash. <laughs> oh, my splash. God. oh wow. Yeah. And on that note, this was session zero of Ultraviolet oh, Grasslands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm so happy. That was it. That was the game. I'm Kristoff. This is Happy Cathonian. If you watched this whole thing, I love you. Wow. Um, it's a campaign. It's going to be an ongoing campaign. So I'm going to keep coming up with videos like this like once uh, every uh, month or so. Okay? So this would be an apropos time if you're interested in seeing those forthcoming videos to use YouTube's uh, subscription feature and click the bell button uh, if you feel so moved. Um, I'm just going to keep hemming and hawing for the next 10 minutes. And No, it's over. It's done. You had your show. I love you.